So before we move forward, I should probably learn these. So which which one is this? This is the tactical retreat. Learn that and sky shot. Learn that. Um, and honestly, we should probably kind of sort some of this out. So I should put this, I don't know, down over there. We should move this potion. We should put that up. Uh, put tactical retreat there and sky shot there. And that way we have like all of our huntsman abilities all back to back. Become hasted and teleport to target position. That's really good because now I don't need to add haste on me. I could, but I don't need to. So I can give that to like red, which would be great. Also, sky shot leap into the air before shooting, gaining damage bonus for your superior height. Uh, this skill receives high ground bonuses regardless of elevation. Damage is based on your basic attack and receives a bonus from finesse. Okay, so like the first thing we're doing is we're going to add some finesse here. We have two points. I could add some health. Um, what are we at on wits? We have one spot still available. I'm okay with that. I think that's good. So let's go ahead and just go 21 finesse. Just like full on it. Then for this... Um, I probably should just add a ranged, which is going to increase 25% damage and 5% crit chance. Yeah, that's pretty good. So let's do that. And then I think, so I have a couple options. I was looking through these. I have a couple options here. Um, I should do something like um, elemental ranger. So shooting arrows will inflict bonus elemental damage depending on the surface your target is standing in. Right, so that could be pretty good. But I want to do all skilled up. So immediately gives me one extra combat a point, combat ability point, and one extra civil ability point. The reason I'm going to do that is because that gives me an ability to get an extra point into thievery, which as we know, red has our uh, chest that we want to open up, and having an extra level in thievery will help with that. Additionally, I then get another point into this, so I could do another ranged point, which give 30% damage and 6% crit chance, which is pretty good. Because I don't really feel like I need to do Huntsman. Um, I could do Scoundrel. I could do Warfare. Like, I've got options here. But I feel like I should just put another point into to ranged. And just, you know, focus my character's thoughts. Which are just blow everything up with attacks. Like, that is her, her goal here. Um, let's loot all of these bodies of the people that they apparently killed. Ooh, we got lockpicks. So close to escaping. Scully amulet, source hound. Now we'll loot that. Give me some animal hide, dead magister, dead seeker. There's lots of stuff here. Actually, uh, what's my 66 of 100? So I'm not gonna fill up just yet, unless there's a ton of freaking armor on these guys. Um, sodden diary, huh? So you can uh, find your your characters here. And level them up Show too, get them the back way. in the party, which I plan to do. Any further, God Woken. We need you alive. Uh, ask what's going on. The ship won't sail. We had orders to search every corner of it and figure out what's blocking us. It's hewn from elven livewood. I thought I could communicate with it, but she glances over towards a smoldering pile of ash on the deck nearby. Something is nestled within it. Fragments of scorched bone. That was Brendan. When the ship wouldn't answer my call, he touched the figurehead, and it attacked him, without warning. He burned, like he was made of parchment. Uh... Express my condolences. Her eyes flick over to the smoldering ashes once again, her head held at a despondent angle. Thank you. We were held captive together, on this ship. He kept my spirits up. Now he's dead. Uh, say that you'll be careful. Just remember what I said, God Woken. If you die, then this was all for nothing. We'll ask if she learned anything useful? Nothing. The ship is live wood. That much is clear. But I couldn't communicate with it. The Magisters must have done something, warped it somehow. Hmm. I just don't know what. Okay, well, let's loot him. Sorry to loot your friend, but... He may have had items on him that I could use. I remember this one. Wow, there's a lot Carbon. of stuff. His friend's sword couldn't save him, it would appear. There's a 
nice sword. There's a nice staff, a nice shield, a nice chest piece, you know. Like, all of this can be sold, too, for this crap that I don't need. And that's great, because I need more money after buying those scrolls of resurrection. Which, uh, ooh, nice. Interesting garment. So, uh, it's worth noting that, uh, where is it? If I go to the crafting menu, which is G, and I go to recipes, I can actually go to the grimoire and, um, there's a possibility to find a, um, resurrection scroll, right? And then you can, you can obviously make that and, uh, use it that way, which is great but I do not have it. I do have a book here, Erratic Wisp skill book. Any Huntsman skill book, any Arrow Third skill book. I, th I think I've seen the Erratic Wisp one before. I can make a Heart of Steel scroll, so I can't quite make the resurrection thing yet. <laughs> we'll see if that ever becomes a thing that I'm able to make. If I eventually find the pattern for that. Boon, I'll use a bucket helmet. Oops. I just launched a random bolt into the sea. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, this guy's super dead. Farewell, Mattis. You did the seek us proud. So, who Spare died here? me, Gareth. We got what we came for. This is what success looks like. I won't see them tossed overboard. Not here. We'll hold a proper service. What's his face and so and so would want us to get this ship sailing before all else? They died for those Godwoken, after all. You know their names, Malady. Can't you even pay them that much respect? Gareth inhales sharply, then catches you out of the corner of his eye and smiles, barely. Our guest stirs. Welcome, Godwoken. Glad to see you safely aboard. Ah, uh, very glad indeed. Um. So these are the people that I'm looting are people that were from like the camp and stuff that went and fought and obviously died trying to take the ship. Um, do, 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 do. Note the number of bodies littering the deck. Ask how many were lost in the battle. Too many. One too few, actually. Alexander, he's alive. Tell him you saw him fall with your own eyes. What happened? Apparently didn't hit hard enough. He's in the hold below decks. Unconscious, but alive. So you better get a move on before the order realizes he's still at large. Yeah. Yes, we certainly had better, but the ship won't move. She's mute. We need to free her tongue. Ask, uh, or actually say you've never known a ship to speak in the first place. Huh. Actually, no. Ask if you might take a crack at the turning wheel. You're welcome to try, though I doubt it'll help. Okay, well. What Gareth means to say is don't bother. Livewood will only move when it wants to, or in this tub's case, when it's forced to. That's right. The ship's made of an elven ancestor tree, the spirit of which is still trapped in every plank. What we need is a way to control the bloody thing. Ask if you have any leads on how to gain control of the ship. The Seekers, the survivors of us, have been combing the ship from bow to rudder. It hasn't been easy. This place is laced with dark magic. These Seekers have such a limited skill set. We lost a man in the search. Malady might not appreciate that, but I do. And I hope you do too. I'm sure the Godwoken will be able to get the ship moving. They kind of like to feel useful, don't they? Um, smile and say you're still waiting to find out what she does other than standing around being smug. Yeah. Hopefully, you'll never have to find out. Uh-huh. Okay, added two chronicles. Um, let's, let's loot the Dead Seeker over here. Okay, so that's basically everything up here. So let me go look around. I could talk to Gareth. But I'm gonna go look around over here. We got jewels. Got some items, which none of those are useful. Uh, let's talk to jewels. Rosa, it's good to see your face. We lost too many friends taking this ship. Yeah, okay, he doesn't wanna talk. All right, that's fine. Um, who is she? You made it, Godwoken. Good. Not all of us did, though. The sooner we leave this island behind us, the better. Okay. Oh, there's Red. What's up, buddy? Ah, there you are. 
High time to stop gallivanting and resume our journey together, wouldn't you say? Yes. Off we go then. So importantly, uh, I can level him up, but he's got me a chest. So pick lock. And open. Oh, nice. Oh, there's an unidentified bow. Heck yeah, I'm glad I took it. My first bow. Um, can I, can I not like, okay, here. You know what would be better? Let's just toss this on the ground. Uh huh. I'll walk over here, I'll hit this button, <laughs> I'll loot it all. <laughs> um, I don't have uh, Sabeel with me, so I can't quite do that, but we got two resurrection scrolls out of that, which is great. We got some gloves for Sabeel. Uh, uncan uncanny evasion skill book. Target character's dodging is increased by 90%, and movement speed is increased by 20%, so evading for one turn. That's really good. And it only requires arrow surge two. Nice. Uh, let's level Prince up real quick. So uh, let's add his strength. And honestly, um, he only has one extra slot, which we need. We're gonna need to fill. And he's probably gonna find some more abilities here shortly. So maybe I'll put it into wits. But his constitution is quite high already. What do I want to put on this? So, um, I was looking through these before this episode, and there's a couple things that are pretty good, like escapist allows you to flee, or not escapist, what is it? Do, do, do not leech. Um, th there is one that allows you to uh, avoid being hit by uh, attacks of opportunity and none of these are super great so okay here's what I'm thinking I could give him ooh executioner gives you two extra action points after dealing Nothing a killing on blow once per turn that's really good Maybe there's something below decks. gorilla hot headed while well, you're at maximum vitality no that's not going to be the case I could do leech or living armor both of those are good for tanks Morning person, res when resurrected, you re resurrect to full health. I need to give that to Sabeel. Thanks for the suggestion once again, Ken, helping us out. I, I had forgotten about that. And uh, by looking through this, I went, oh, yeah, that's right. That is a really good thing, isn't it? Picture of health, health gives you an extra vitality. 3% uh, for every point in warfare, which is really great. Uh, so actually, I'm probably going to do that. Let's do that. So his vitality is currently 300. It was up to 327. That's a pretty big boost. And uh, you know what? I may actually just put a point into warfare for that very reason. It's either that or leadership. Um, leadership would add an additional 2% dodging and 12% to all resistances to all of my peeps. But let's add a point into warfare. 336. That's pretty good. And uh, of course, we're going to put that one point into constitution. So 349 is his total health after leveling up. Love it. I'm just going to leave that chest there. <laughs> There's no reason not to. I'm not going to carry it with me. Come on. Who do you think I am? I ain't crazy. I picked Boring. up that bucket on accident. Uh, let's see here. What do we got down here in the ship? We got a storage chest. Which got nothing in it. Which doesn't seem like much of a storage chest then, does it? Barrel. Fish. I want food. Give me the food. I will actually use that. Um, I could take the dwarven stew. Actually, I really should. That, that, that's probably gonna have wood in it. Yeah, an arrow shaft, okay. Basket. See, that's why it's worth it for me to loot. Cause sometimes I just get a bunch of gold and stuff. Um, we got some assistance of Dallas down here. I'll just leave those. Let's talk to these peeps. The silent monk leans from one foot to the other. He seems eager to move. The silent monk leans forward slightly and stares at you straight in the eyes. She seems eager for you to say something. Hmm. Uh, Ifen, Ifen is right there. It's interesting. I didn't pick him up as a character, but he is definitely an option at this point. So if I ever wanted to change, I could. Uh, I'm going to pick up that repair hammer. Um, ooh, what are those? Actually, things. Ooh, nice. Some potions. 
or empty uh, empty things. I can actually make stuff with this workshop. That's pretty nice. I bet you I can repair stuff, which is probably better. Uh, another repair hammer. Hell yeah, I'll take that. Kind of looking around for my party members so I can level them up. I do like the party we currently have. I don't think I'm going to change it, even though you do have options at this point to swap some party members out. There's some panties. I see. We're just gonna leave those there. Who's this? Fane? I think I have his mask, don't I? Oh, please don't stare. It's tiresome. Uh, ask what he's doing here. If you must know, there is an excavation site at the Black Pits on Reaper's Coast. I go to seek answers. Um, what does he hope to find at the excavation site? Oh, quite. As do I. This patch of air won't stare at itself after all. Eh, I'll just take my leave. Give me that gold. There's a bath there. I'll take a bath. Who's that? Leia. Malady says if we can get the ship to move, we can go home. Okay then. <laughs> More panties. Why, who is just leaving these around? You know what I mean? Like, come on. There's an entire chest and you got one pair in there. It's weird. It's really weird. No, I'm not going to pick those up, by the way. I'm just going to leave them in there. We'll leave that crap as well. Ain't nothing in this stuff. But it's worth for me to check, in my opinion. Because I might get lucky. And find gold like I have been. Okay, there's nobody off this way. Uh, we got Beast. Let's get Beast back in. Let's team up, you and me. What do you say? Yeah, a good now, idea. Onward. Cool. So, Beast, let's level you up, buddy. Um... What is his wits looking like? He's got three spots available. He's like golden. Uh, so in that case, I did want to add another arrow surge, which gives him the ability to learn this. So hell yeah, we'll put that on our bar. Uncanny evasion. So he can just target characters dodging. So he can cast that on somebody, which is freaking great. Um, that is really, really good. I like that a lot. Okay, so I can also give him some stuff. We can give him some all skilled up if we wanted to. Um, I feel like I could give him living armor, so it adds 35% of all healing received by skills or consumables to your magic armor, which has been kind of a problem with him. He's losing his armor and stuff quite quickly, but most importantly, we want to give him opportunist. Gives him the ability to perform attacks of opportunity. Bam. Which is what we've been waiting for. I kind of feel like... Uh, one point, or maybe just two points into intelligence. Let's just round it out to 20, and then we'll do constitution afterwards. We still need to give him a pair of good pants. <laughs> so that's that's a thing to consider. We gotta find, whoops. We gotta find Sibyl. Because she's got uh, the ability to identify this bow. And you know what? I'm gonna be honest, that's the most important thing to me <laughs> at the moment, is getting this bow. Who's Exter? to find a way to get this ship moving okay yeah you you really want to find a way i bet you she's downstairs so let's go downstairs Ooh, samadel there's something to these doors i'm not seeing but what can i look at it the door seems like any door at least at first then you notice it's unblemished wood there is no knot no scratch no dent to detract from its apparent perfection Mystic, you sense something more here. A presence. Place your palm against the door. The wood groans and creaks. A face appears in the wood, tortured and tormented. A six-sided indentation is carved on its forehead, as if a gem or amulet had made a mark there. The face vanishes. Huh. The door stays resolutely closed. Yeah, let's... Uh, we'll, we'll come back to this. Clearly, I... Oh, uh, Han is here. Hey! You're here! Pretty nice boat, eh? We got an upgrade. There's got to be another way to get it going, but we can't find a way into Dallas's room. Maybe you can see something we can't. Yeah, I definitely did, but there's clearly something we need to get Speak in. Speak to me if you're looking for hired help. I've got good fighters of every stripe. They know how to keep their mouths shut too, as long as there's gold in it for them. So, what'll it be? So, interesting. I can, I can uh, essentially find people f from my party for her, from her, rather. That's kind of cool, but I don't feel like that's necessary because um, we got uh, everybody's favorite squishy, Sibyl. 
Which, to be fair, when she's using her um. We've braved the joy, and I lust for further adventure. What say uh, you? Yeah, join you're me. not quite certain you'll ever sleep soundly with Sabeel in any sort of proximity, but at least she's on your side for the moment. So the thing with Sabeel is, even I I feel like she's better played as her rogue, which is like her standard build, um, but at the same time. I don't know. I kind of feel like I really um, enjoy her as a mage right now. Heart Seeker. Plus two finesse. So good. Set chill for one turn. 10% chance to succeed. Plus 14% critical chance. 18 to 22 physical damage. 3 to 4 water. Boom. Brand new bow. It's hot. That's a good bow. You know what I mean? That's a, that's a really good bow. I don't think there's anything else I need to identify. So let's level Sabeel up real quick. Um... Her spots are fine. She's got three available spots. Uh, maybe I'll give her elemental affinity. And affinity lowers the action point of spells by one when standing on the surface of the same element. That's always good. Glass cannon isn't bad for her, as weird as that sounds. So basically, she starts every combat round with max AP, but magic and physical armor do not protect you from statuses. So she could be stunned and whatnot, which kind of sucks. Um, but it's, it, it's not as... It doesn't really fit the theme of glass cannon as much as you might expect because it's not like she's taking any more damage. Um, it just means that she's being affected by stuff. So that kind of sucks. So maybe we'll leave it as it is. Uh, living armor isn't bad for her. I mean, she's got a massive amount of magic armor to begin with. So being able to heal that back up is pretty good. Um, torture is not bad for her. Certain statuses cause by you are no longer blocked by magic or physical armor and their duration is extended by one turn burning poisoned bleeding necrofire acid suffocating entangled death wish ruptured tendons are affected by this talent and because i'm using a lot of fire it's really good um it's really really good but we are gonna go with morning person when resurrected you resurrect with full health it's kind of a problem for her so let's just uh, let's just be nice and give her what she needs. This is better pair of gloves. So we'll give her those. I think those are worse than what she's got. Oh no! The, this mage garment. Oh, it's fancy. Look at that. Uh, it's better by quite a bit. Lots of magic armor. That's not super great, actually. Let's double check to see if that's not good for me. Nope. Um. So let's start setting things as garbage so I can start getting rid of them. Like I know the staff is Garbo, the axe is, that shield might not be. Uh, yeah, it is better, but is it better than both of theirs? Yes. So we'll give this to red and we'll give this one, well actually 10% Poison resistance is bad, but plus, plus, uh, I don't know. Let's do poison resistance. Um, this sword requires finesse, so neither of these dummies can... Oh, actually, it's a dagger. Interesting. Hmm. Well, the more you know. We got some boots here that need to be identified. Finesse. We got a belt. Got a staff. So... Spill, what does the staff look like? Really good. Really, really good. I lose a point necromancer, but I gain a lot of damage. And it's it's water damage. Um, so yeah, we'll do that. We'll set that one. Uh, let's look at these boots for me. Yep, those are great. We'll put those on. Love it. And I got blood sucker. Not that I need it. Um, also, not that I have it on my bar here, but I should put it there. There we go. So I can heal myself if I really, really need to. Do, 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 do. This is a pretty good belt. 2% or plus 2 retribution, 1 telekinesis, 7% dodging. What's he using? I mean, it's better than what he's got. May as well give it to him, and then we'll just go down the line here. Now it's his turn. Uh, I think his is better. Uh, Spill, what does yours look like? You got a really bad belt. However, 
I should give this one to me and this one to her. Bam. Done. I'll keep my gloves of teleportation because I love those stupid things. They're so useful. I love them. As far as everything else is concerned, like I could just um, toss a lot of this crap. And I think that's totally okay. And it should actually make me quite a bit of money if I... Ooh, there was a book that I haven't learned yet. First aid. You already know the skill. Oh. Do I? Oh, wait. No, that's her. Do, do, do. First aid. Yay, now I can heal myself. We'll take these arrows and take those, huh? Damn, I'm just, you know, I gotta, I gotta keep this bar a little clean. Uh, right now, I'm kind of wishing I went with the memory stuff, but on my next level up, I'll have to increase my memory slots, so that way I just have all of the abilities available to me. Like, there's, there's one that gives you three spots, three wits or something like that. It's pretty good. Who's Constance? The Seeker flexes her arms stiffly. Her joints audibly pop. She sees you draw near. I owe you, Godwoken. <laughs> Without your help, I'd likely still be a prisoner around here, not guarding Alexander the bloody divine himself. She nods her thanks and immediately winces, laying her hand on the back of her neck. Ooh, curious. Uh, note that she seems to be in some pain. Was she injured during the taking of the ship? I wish. No, the Magisters kept me chained to the bulkhead. Arms held above me head, feet barely able to touch the deck. Now my joints are paying the price. I see. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's see. She only got 39 gold. I ain't, I ain't selling anything to her. Brother, open the gate. You want to find out if the prisoner knows how to get the ship moving. Stare through the bars at Alexander's unconscious form and note that the Seekers have a valuable bargaining chip. Interesting. Or cast your eye around and ask if where... Is, or if this is where the Magisters kept the Seeker prisoners locked up. No. They had a stand below, chained up in the dark. But the Reds were up to something in here. Maybe it was just the lack of food and rest playing tricks. But oh, I swear I heard chanting and uh, horrible moaning coming from here. But when we broke free, it was empty. Curious. Uh, let's, let's make note of the valuable bargaining chip. We're a big bloody target on our backs. We took their leader and their flagship. The hammer won't stand for that. She'll be hunting for us. Ask about the other Magister prisoner. Is she anyone important? The Seeker throws a toxic look at the imprisoned Magister. Hardly. She's just some deckhand. If it were up to me, I'd tie her to the main mast and use her for arrow practice. But Malady wants her alive for now. All right, let's, let's open the gate. Good luck getting anything out of either of them. Our special guest is out cold. And the other one ain't in much of a talking mood. Say that you have to try and demand she unlock the cage. All right then, just don't make me regret it. All right, we're gonna we're gonna save. I do have my full party with me, so that's feeling better. Also, uh, I haven't leveled Sibyl up, so maybe I, I should do that. Something useful. Hopefully, those people just stay in there. <laughs> um, let's give her. Uh, is there anything particular that I need from her at the moment? Probably not, but I could give her a, a, a point into one of her spellcasting things. Like, Geomancer's not bad. Pyrokinetic's not bad. Um, let's do... Let's do a, a Geomancer. And let's increase her... Wits? What is, what is her... No, she's got three spots, so... I'm gonna <laughs> increase her con. I chain you up like your lot did to me. Magister Ramley, caucus mate of the Divine Eminence vessel, Lady Vengeance. A young Magister paces around the brig, fussing over Alexander's unconscious form. She leans over and applies a damp cloth to his brow. She notices you observing her. She straightens her back and sets her jaw in a defiant scowl. Magister Ramley, caucus mate of the Divine Eminence vessel, Lady Vengeance. That's all the information I'm giving to any of you lot. So stow your questions. Okay, so she's very stern, so we need... Can I trade with her? Is that an option? No, but I could take her gold. Um, basically, we need to play this smart. So tell her that you're no seeker, but they're always grateful to those who help them. If she knows how to get the ship moving, they might look more kindly on her. No, that's not going to work. Note that she must be in shock to find herself attending to the divine himself, yeah. Ranley, Corker's mate, 
Lady Vengeance. Okay. I see. Let's just take my leave. She's just gonna keep saying that. So let's look at him, shall we? Get away from him, sorcerer. That's the divine. Um, tell her to back away. You have more important matters to attend to. I do have a quite a bit of memory on her, but it may not be enough. I definitely don't have enough strength. I needed three. Prisoner or not, I swore an oath. Touch him again, and I'll kill you. Um, I'm gonna save real quick. I'm trying to look at the bed. No, it's not gonna do anything. Okay, so where's Red? A young magister paces around the brig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She notices yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so she's gonna say the same thing. So what if he approaches her? I warned you not to touch you. Well, that's not quite what I wanted to do. So let's uh, load my save, because that's why I saved. I didn't want to go into combat with her. I want to try and, uh, I wanted to try and do the strength persuasion, but that's not going to work now that we've saved after that. So that's always a thing. I mean, I could back up my quick save to the previous one, but that, that seems wrong. Peace of mind scroll. Nice. I don't know if there's anybody else down here. There is this. What is this? Oh, this allows me to change my party. So I can kind of change the way she looks. I, I like the way she looks though. And and um, I feel like, uh, I feel like her current, you know, set of stuff is cool. So we're just hit cancel. Yep, I'm gonna go ahead and just exit that. Feels good, you know, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about my character. So I don't feel like I need to redo them. We'll go up on this what, other side. Anything else? I know that there's another level, so we should probably go to look down there first. And once we go down, oops, this. once we go down there, that will um, give me a better idea of, oh, she's unlinked. It'll give me a better idea of um, what's on the ship. What did you find? Ooh, there was something. Hold on, let's, dude, no. No, okay. Let's go down to this board, this loose plank. What's in it? Ooh, nice. That's cool. I, I like that there just happens to be a loose plank with stuff hidden. All right, and now um, that was to the upstairs. There's this door, which I haven't figured out yet, Which, but I think that this is like the main thing I need to figure out. Is there another way to go further down? It doesn't currently look at it. Look like it. The door seems like any door, at least at first. I then you notice the it's under the wood groans and creaks. For a no, moment, okay, so the face same vanishes. Thing. Rattle the doorknob. The anguished face appears, then vanishes. The door remains closed. Can I knock on it? No entry allowed. Please oh. use the port side door. Uh, <laughs> knock loudly upon the door. That won't get you anywhere. Use the other door. Tell the door to open. Listen up so I don't have to repeat myself again. I am not an entry door. Uh, okay. Funny, but, uh,. Not, not even really gonna go anywhere. I plenty of fighters for her. Oh, I okay, so she... I was gonna try to trade with her, but she's not gonna... It didn't pop up. Try to go here. The door is still unmarked. No. The thud of your fist. Whoops. The door is still unmarked, though the memory of the face and its six-sided notch remains with you. Okay, R rattle the doorknob. The anguished face appears, then... But why is this the one not talking to me? The door is still unmarked, though the memory of the face... No. The thud of your fist upon the... No. Okay, well... Interesting. Can I talk to her about this? There's got to be some clue. Nope. So basically, um, I somehow need to interact with Alexander. Oh, she's still cursed. That's really annoying. Is there a way to remove curse with her? Break the shackles is her thing, which does not remove curse. But um, I know it does. Is it her item still cursing her? 
it's, I think it's the band of Brachus is the cursed item. So I just need to get rid of that ring, which I don't think. Whatever type of companion you need, I can provide. I don't think I have Expert warriors for hire. an extra ring just sitting around. All right, let's go back upstairs. And I don't see another way down here. So let's go up one more. And let's find Malady and talk to her. See if she has any ideas on what I can do. Maybe she does. Oh, there's my corrupted darling. I was just thinking of you. I bet. Probe for more information on how the ship can be controlled. This is Dallas's ship. But she can't have been the only one who could get it moving. To be too risky. And Dallas is anything but careless. There's a way to move this ship on board, I'm sure of it. Hmm. Ask where you should start the search. The figurehead has certainly caused a commotion lately. But then again, so have the doors downstairs. Everywhere you look, a hunk of wood looking to incinerate or stymie you. Um, comment that there can only be so many places to look? You'd be surprised. A ship like this holds many secrets. Hopefully you can discover some these seekers might have missed. Okay. Um, be on my Please, way. don't. Um, let's go see. Where's the dude? Is he still here? There he is. Let's go talk to him. Gareth, that's right. That's his name. And then if that doesn't work, we can always go look at the figurehead. Save. Void the Slayer, figure. Worm Killer, Godwoken. You have many names. Let's add ship's captain to the list once we get this thing moving, shall we? Remark on his tiff with Malady. I won't let the fallen be forgotten. I'd be no better than Dallas, no better than Alexander, if I just tossed their remains into the sea. To think that whelp spawned from greatness. He deserves no better fate than his silent monks. All this blood, children ripped from families, seekers ripped from me. He's down there now. Guarded like some precious jewel rather than leashed and flogged like the dog he is. Amazing to think those of us in the Order once assumed the gods were with him and only him. That was before we found the others. Uh, he was in the Order, as in the Divine Order? The Seekers were once part of the Order, my friend. Okay. When Lucian died, we waited. Yet Alexander never rose to divinity. And then we started to find more like him, more Godwoken. And we weren't the only ones looking. A killer had marked them too. <laughs> the Seekers were born. We found Godwoken, housed them, fed them. I loved them like family. I was naive. But let's leave the past in the past and reach for what's ahead. Um, <laughs> take my leave. Keep Lucian close, Godwoken. Let me see if I can trade with him real quick. Uh, ooh, he's got a nice two-handed axe. I think the Gravedigger is something I sold him. Let's see here. Let's um, dump my crap in there. And get the gold from that. I'll go ahead and accept that trade. Uh, there is some Geomancer skills. Like impalement spikes impale all characters and items setting crippled and dealing 28 to 30 damage also creates an oil puddle that's pretty good mend metal allies new you start slowly regenerating physical armor uh allies yeah okay whoops let's let's buy that poison dart eh. fossil strike eh. and this is all the stuff that I basically just bought. I feel like, um, like mend metal might be really good and so might be impalement. So let's go ahead and pick both of those up. So let's go into here. Uh, I've got all sorts of books. I probably should sell that cause I don't need rain. Um, Beast cannot learn Chain Lightning yet. I feel like I need to give Mend Metal to... Well, how many points or how many things does he have? He has one. Uh, let's give Impalement to her. Right? She, yeah, she has Geomancer, so we'll learn that. 
and um, we'll give mend metal to him. I think that would be pretty good because then he can kind of heal up some of that stuff as well. Let's quick save now that we've done that. Let's go check out this figurehead and see if it doesn't just blow me up.